All right, let's see it. Okay. Doesn't have null though. Boom, get wrecked. Hey, how big is your null, huh? What's up noobs, I'm Greener, this is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so I finally got X23 in a spotlight cache yesterday. And I've been playing around with this card since then, and I didn't realize how strong it was until I actually started playing this deck. And I feel like if you're gonna play destroy stuff, X23 is like a staple because it allows you to do stuff you would normally um, not be able to do. So we're playing an X23 destroy deck and uh, let's just go through the deck really quick. So we have Deadpool in here. When this is destroyed, return it to your hand with double the power. And in this list, particularly uh, with X23, you can get Deadpool pretty big, pretty fast. So the start of the show here is X23. When this is discarded or destroyed, regenerate it at a random location and you get plus one energy next turn. So you can destroy this over the course of the game a, a few times. And then um, you can like do some crazy stuff with Deadpool and Venom. And then late game, uh, you can play out like a null with a Deadpool or... Um, you know, do some crazy big Deadpool Taskmaster stuff. We have Forge in here. On reveal, give your next card you play plus three power. And since the Forge buff, this is a great enabler for uh, either Deadpool or Wolverine. Obviously, if you don't draw Deadpool and you draw Wolverine, use it on Wolverine instead. Um, but ideally, you want to put this on Deadpool. So one of the ways we have to destroy stuff is Carnage. On reveal, destroy your other cards here. Plus two power for each destroyed. So like you can play X23 on one, Carnage on two. Um... Or like you can stack a lane if you think they're not going to have armor or Cosmo, right? And you can put Deadpool Annex 23 in a lane. And then, you know, on turn four, play Wolverine and Carnage. That's getting a little greedy with it. Uh, I usually try to just um, either hit Deadpool or X23 by turn two. Obviously, we have Wolverine when this is discarded or destroyed, regenerated at a random location with plus two power. Um, so this can get fairly big too, especially because we have the Forge buff. And then we have Hulkbuster in this deck. Um, ideal, like I said, ideally you want to use those on Deadpool, but it, that's not always going to be the case. You're not always going to draw Deadpool. So Wolverine's great backup. We have Killmonger in here on reveal, destroy all one cost cards. This is great for uh, buffing up your Deadpool and getting extra energy from X23. Not to mention getting rid of all your opponent's one drops. Like if they have Sunspot or Misty Knight, or stuff like that. One of the best destroy cards in the game, in my opinion, is Venom. On reveal, destroy your other cards at this location, add their power to this card. So if you get a really big Deadpool, you chomp down its power, right? And that doubles uh, Deadpool's power again. So then by turn six, you can play like a huge Deadpool with a Taskmaster. Plus then you have like a giant Venom that they have to contend with. And they only have one Shang-Chi, right? So where are they gonna use it? They're probably gonna use it on Venom. And then you're gonna surprise them with the giant Deadpool Taskmaster. Uh, we have Deathlock on reveal, destroy your other cards at this location. Just solid um, for all the stuff we already talked about. Deadpool, X-23, uh, and um, Wolverine. Hulkbuster on reveal, merge this card with a random friendly card at this location. So if you get extra energy from X-23, you'll be able to play uh, Deadpool and Hulkbuster in the same turn, ideally in a lane by themselves. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of people on the ladder right now trying to counter this deck so keep an eye out for armors and cosmos then we have taskmaster on reveal set this card's power equal to that of the last card you played if that card is in play because you're going to be sending deadpool back to your hand every turn you you might end up losing prio which is good so they get prio so they're not going to be able to shang chi or killmonger your deadpool and like i said de uh Giant Deadpool Taskmaster is huge, but if you don't have that line and you have a free death, right? You can also death Taskmaster, that's fine too. And then we have Null, ongoing has the combined power of all cards destroyed this game. And this can get pretty big, especially because other people are also running destroy. A lot of the time it'll come down to, hey, <laughs> where are you playing their Null? Where are they playing their Null? 
and you know it, it becomes sort of like a rock paper scissors but ideally you want to have um extra energy so on the final turn you can play null out with deadpool and then of course we have death cost one less for each card destroyed this game um you're not always going to be able to get this down to zero especially if they're countering your destroy stuff but most of the time she's going to be super super cheap ideally down to zero but if she's like one or two that's still fine right especially because you can put like death deadpool i don't know something else so that's pretty much the deck if you like destroy stuff uh you're gonna love playing this deck by the way if you're new here why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy huh it's just a click for you it means the world to me hey let's just get into the games huh okay let's go deadpool here That's kind of brutal. We can hit that with Hulkbuster though to kill it. Said, All right, let's hit that with Hulkbuster. All right, let's go. I mean, we could go Deadpool Death to feed the Null. Is that dumb? Okay, so I feel like we're putting Null over here no matter what, right? And then we go Deadpool Wolverine. Okay, they reveal first, so that means I can put like a, um, a Killmonger down to counteract their Deadpool. Then we eat this. No, we don't. Then we go Deadpool Taskmaster. Throw this out for the Lels. All right, let's see it. Okay. Doesn't have null though. Boom, get wrecked. Hey, how big is your null, huh? Okay, let's play um, X-23 and Vormir. Maybe we hit him with Wolverine and Muir Island. Um, I think we go Deadpool Carnage here.
What do we do here? Do we go Deadpool Venom here? Or here? I feel like we gotta do it over here to get the extra energy, right? Or maybe we go Forge Deadpool, then we Venom on five. All right, just play Venom over here. Shang-Chi, I'm just toast, right? Well, I could go Null. Deadpool. All depends on where he plays that extra double dino. Hey, it sounds good to me, man. Yeah, we could play out Deadpool, I guess. I don't have anything to kill it, though, so maybe we hold off and play Forge. Okay, let's go Forge Deadpool. go um, Killmonger here. And then we go Deadpool, Carnage, and hit this with X-23 because it'll always die. Let's go Deadpool Venom. This is going to be tricky. Maybe we go Deadpool Taskmaster Death just to cover all three bases here. And your null wasn't big enough, buddy. Let's go. chill murder world okay um i'm just gonna play forge here and hope i get deadpool or x23 or wolverine off the top
and then we hit Wolverine in uh, Altar of Death. I don't know where my uh, where my Deadpool and X twenty three are today. They're hiding, I think. So we go Hulkbuster or Carnage here. So we got Deadpool, but it's like way too late. <laughs> um, you just go like this. Not a great play. I could just get rid of that nebula. Maybe we could go like this. Or is it just better to uh, go like this? Yeah, I think this is better. Null death. Hopefully we win Altar of Death. And we get a casserole. I'll take that. Victory. All right, let's chill. Okay, let's go with Forge. And then we play Deadpool and Altar of Death. Pulling off to death, let's go. Echo's kind of cool, so they can't play Iron Man there. Like, do I just play out a null now? Like, do they have, in Mr. Negative, do they have anything to get rid of it? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna risk it and play it out now. Okay. I mean, I feel like I'm just wasting my extra energy, but I could just toss a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go Deadpool, 
Hulkbuster. No, let's not do that. Deadpool, Venom, Taskmaster. They might have Shang-Chi for over here. So maybe we win the tie here. I have Pryo though. All right, let's do it. Not even close. Chill. Um, do I just play out X twenty three? Yeah, let's play her out. This could pull Deathlock, which wouldn't be great, but if it pulls anything else, it's fine. All right, I'll take a free death. I mean, they could have Shang-Chi though. Uh, I feel like we go, actually, I'm gonna go forge Deadpool. Okay, let's go Deadpool, Wolverine, and hit this with Deathlock. So this is like Patriot stuff, right? So we have 10 energy, pretty good. Um, I might just throw away the carnage just to get extra, you know, buff for null and extra energy next turn. So let's go Deadpool Venom. going to be able to play on Altar of Death unless they have armor in their deck. So I feel like we go like this and win the uh, tiebreaker. Oh, Scarlet Witch. Clever. I mean, not enough, though. <laughs> All right, that's X-23 in Altar of Death. Um, maybe we go Wolverine. Ah, this is awkward. Like, I, I, I need the front end of my deck, and it just won't give it to me. Maybe we just do this. It's a waste, but... All right, whatever.
Way to ruin all the fun. All right, well, let's go Deadpool Venom. In Taskmaster here. If I had Null in hand, I'd destroy this lane. I mean, we could go Deadpool. Death? That feels risky. And they retreat anyway, okay. All right, X-23 and Altar of Death, let's go. <laughs> Insta retreat, I love it. Okay, so this deck feels really, really strong. But we did cheat a little because the feature location is Altar of Death. So we had a little help. <laughs> but even without Altar of Death, this deck is really strong. But because right now the location is Altar of Death, um, it was pretty much just mirror matches during the entire making of this video. I think there was like one game that I'm not against a destroy deck. But yeah, since X23 is in the spotlight caches right now, you have a great chance to get her. If you like destroy, I think she's pretty key. I mean, you can play Destroy without her, but it just feels so much better with her. That extra energy really does make a difference. But I know you're probably all destroyed out. I'm getting pretty sick of it too, but it was fun to play for a bit. Like, I don't want this Destroy meta to last forever, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's a, it, it's, it's a fun time. But hey, don't take my word for it. Try the deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey, if you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and anyway... GG.